Hey YouTube, I'm doing a video because I just feel like, even though I appreciate the subscribers that I do have, the 54 subscribers that I do have, um, I just feel like I'm not getting as much love as I believe I deserve on YouTube when it comes to who watch my videos. People subscribing, people liking, people commenting, people really fucking with me. Um, I've been doing YouTube for a while now. Well, on I've been doing YouTube since 2011 or 12. But on this channel, when did I start this channel? Um, I probably started this channel like a few years back. I don't remember. But, um, I've been doing this for a while now, and, um, I just feel like I'm not get I, I'm not getting the love that I deserve on YouTube. I've been doing wig reviews, I do dance videos, I do singing covers, I do, I mean, I did, like, little celebrity challenges, um... I talk about my life, I talk about celebrities, I talk about different YouTubers, I talk about a lot of stuff, and a lot of my videos have been getting some good views, but it seems like, does everyone who view subscribe to my channel? I'm like, I'm just sitting here like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I doing wrong? Because it makes no sense that, even with my sister channel, G's Destiny, she does videos on J4K and stuff, and she got way more subscribers than me. And it's like, I've been on here longer than her. And not to try to bash or anything or try to hate, but on some real stuff, it's like, I've been on here longer than her, and she got way more subscribers than me. And most of my subscribers came from being on her page, going back forth with j for k members and stuff like that and that's not the type of youtuber i want to be arguing on someone else's page and beefing with different youtubers or celebrities or whatever the case may be um i love doing wig reviews i love being myself so I just feel like that. I don't want to be the type of person that got to get all dialed up and put a whole bunch of makeup on and got to look real girly and feminine just to get attention. I want to be myself. Yes, I shave my facial hair by myself. Yes, I go to get my eyebrows done for $7 at the um, nail salon down, well, up or down the street from my house, wherever it is at. Yes, I have done so. I mean, gotten sewings. Yes, I went to hair salons to get my hair done with sewings and crochets and stuff like that. Or I just go order a wig from offline or go to a beauty supply store and a lot of my wigs come from that. And I do reviews on them. But I just feel like y'all really want to help brother out. Y'all can hit the cash app up for those who really watch my videos. And I've been saying my cash app over and over. Um, and I don't know who's been saying that they, they is looking for it. I said my cash app over and over. For any, and that's just for anyone who wants to help me out with getting certain things. And make my videos more professional. Make it more interesting for y'all to watch. Because I don't like just coming on here, turn the camera on and just say what I gotta say and then go off. Or... Do my review and then go off. I, I want to be more professional so I can get more people watching my videos. I share my videos on Facebook and whatever. But I just want to be more professional. I want my videos to be way better. And I see a lot. And then even with that. I see a lot of people who don't their head back drops or whatever. They did the same thing I used to do. Just... Find a certain, I mean, find a uh, wall that look good enough like this with me on the camera down. Excuse me, because I am shirtless. But, um, they just find a certain wall in the house that look like a backdrop and whatever and do their videos. As for me, um, 
I just got on, turn the camera on, say what I got to say, and then carry on my life. Um, and like I mentioned before, pe like when it came to wig reviews, I've been trying to contact companies to do reviews for them, and they going to tell me that they not going to set my review because I'm not like such and such, this person, that person. I don't want to be like these different people. I don't. I don't want to be the next Malibu doll face. I don't want to be this person, that person. I want to be myself. And even though that I have my problems with certain people nowadays, doesn't mean that I didn't get the idea from them. Because I always wore wigs. I just didn't think that it'd be near for me to do wig reviews or whatever because I didn't always have a laptop. I always have a computer. I had a phone or camera. And I didn't always know how to use the camera to do a video and then upload on YouTube. But I've been wearing wigs for a while now. Wigs, weaving, whatever. Um, and, then, and then it's crazy because even with me broadcasting, I used to broadcast. I've done adult broadcasting on chatterbait.com and that was fun then I went to like mature broadcasting like you now and friend life and stuff and different apps like that but the broadcast was fun it's just like I want to do something that eventually I get paid for I want to do a job I get paid for I don't want to just get on here and give get fake love and then it's like a lot of my subscribers is coming all because uh, and that's another thing. My sister was telling me that I should use her page. That's your page. I want to do my own thing. Even though I don't mind doing videos with my sister and whatever on G's Destiny page. But I like she has her side and then I have mine. And that's why I say I'm not with j for k Yes, I have done videos where I stayed in my opinion. Or I was a camera person and just end up talking about certain shit I didn't agree with. <laughs> but that's all I did. I wasn't that person who that's all my videos was about. I was doing celebrity videos. Talk about celebrities. Um... Then I did wig reviews. Then I... What else I used to do? Yeah, I was doing stuff like that. Like wig reviews and... Singing covers and me acting goofy. And then it's crazy because it just seems like a lot of my Facebook live videos is way better than my YouTube videos. I think like... Every live video I've done on my Facebook was way, way better. And I feel like if I could, i put a lot of those videos on. Like, if I really could find a way to get those lives, i really upload them to my YouTube. Because, I mean, like, in certain lives that I did on Facebook, there was a lot of people in here. And I'd just be talking about random shit, just be cursing people out. Or talk about my life or just dancing around and I don't know I used to do a lot of stuff on Facebook live and the crazy thing about it is I like I never know how to do Facebook live until I just started trying to learn and look through stuff then when I end up doing face and find out how to do Facebook live I just went crazy with it on all different ones of my Facebook pages. And I got like three, probably like, yeah, like three different Facebook pages. And I just started going crazy. Just cursing people out. Talk about my family. Talk about my life. Talk about, I've probably done a lot of celebrities. Um, and the only reason why I don't do as much videos as I could be is because my phone likes to act up, some, act up sometimes. Sometimes it cut off and restart by itself. Sometimes it buffer and skip words out of the video. Sometimes my phone freeze. So I cannot never get what I be wanting to say. Because I always got to keep paying attention to make sure my phone ain't freezing or the video ain't messing up. Yeah.
America can do on TV. <sighs>
help me get to us where we need to be because it's fucking house is being fucking taken. That's the fucking result. Hmm. <laughs>